Hi guys! Today we are going to be doing another laundry chat. If you guys don't know what this is or you guys are new to my channel, basically I hate laundry. And if you guys are like me, you hate laundry just as much as I do. So what I have been doing is I've been pulling out my laundry and just telling you guys a story and I'm hoping that you guys pull out your laundry and just listen. This isn't a video you have to pay attention to. You could just prop me somewhere, put me somewhere and just listen to the story. So. If you guys would like to do your laundry with me, then come on, let's get started. So today we are going to be talking about when me and my husband um, eloped. <laughs> I know that's kind of like a weird thing to hear because, you know, usually when you think of someone getting married, you think of an amazing wedding, a white dress you know, wedding invitations, the whole nine. And that is not the way it turned out for me and my husband. Let's start from the beginning of when we first started dating. Me and my husband are actually from the same town. My husband is about five years older than I am. He's the same age as my oldest brother. I come from a family where there's two boys and then me. So actually me and my husband knew each other at a very young age, which is crazy. If I can find the picture, I'll show it to you guys. And um, we actually went to the same elementary school. My husband, we didn't know it at the time, but my husband was in the same class and grade as my brother. And they had the same class. We actually have a picture together. It's crazy. <laughs> um, we ended up running into each other. I was a bartender we have like a little town that's we have like a little town that's in our town and there's like a lake there and people have boats and all kinds of you know fancies and stuff like that it's a very nice area and there's a bar in there and I had gotten a job in that bar and my husband actually went to that bar so it's kind of crazy that we ran into each other and even while we were dating, you know, I was like, oh, you know, you, you went to this elementary school. Did you know these people? And sure enough, he was like, oh, yeah, I know. I know your brothers. I know this. And so it's crazy that little did we know so many years later that we would actually end up together. Small town. Fishbowl of a town. So we actually ended up dating July 4th. Third, I think was the day that we actually started dating and then we got engaged I want to say we started dating in 2016 and then we got engaged May of May 22nd of 2018 I think that's when, I think that's when we got engaged um, we were at that same area that we basically the same like city within a city next to the lake and stuff we went to that area and uh, yeah we got engaged there it was no one around it was just the two of us and you know he got on bended knee I have my lovely ring that's all twisted um, and yeah so we got engaged in May and then we ended up getting married November 15th of 2018. And we went to Santa Barbara. And if you guys watch like Nikki Limo on YouTube, um, she got married at Santa Barbara, the city hall. We got married in the exact same place, just not outside like she got married. We got married on the inside. And it was just us two. Um, no one else was there. So let's start off with some of the problems that we ran into. Um, when we got engaged, everything was fine. Everything was great. And um, problems started to unravel itself when the wedding planning came into play. Now, I'm not going to say who caused all the problems in us planning the wedding for multiple reasons. But I will say that there was many problems that were started. Now, let me explain something about me. I am as frugal as frugal comes. I am very cheap. I do not like extravagant things. I am beer and pretzels type of girl. I am not fancy. I'm not extravagant. That is not who I am. That's not even close to what I'd be. 
I use, you know, coupons and I don't care if I have five dollars in the bank or a billion dollars in the bank, I will still use coupons because that's what I do. I hate spending money for no reason. I have such a hard time with letting go of money. I, I just don't like it. And that just may be, you know, living paycheck to paycheck your whole life or whatever, that you start to get this bit about you that it's like, I can't let the money go. So, that being said, when it came to planning our wedding, me and my husband were on the same page with everything. And when I say everything, I mean absolutely everything. From the day that we were getting married, to the color scheme, to, uh, you know, how we wanted the food, how we wanted the venue, everything was amazing. I had found a venue to hold because I have a very big, big family. I have a, I found a venue that held a lot of people for uh, very cheap and we got it the whole weekend. So I'm thinking great still. I see people spend $5,000 on a wedding dress. I found mine for 200. Yes, 200. And I'll try to insert a picture, but it was one of those like like nighty looking ones where it's very slim, very silk, you know, things like that. I was in love. $200 still, right? And that makes me a very happy girl because I don't like spending money. So we found everything cheap. We had someone, you know, my family does some cooking. So we were going to have them do all of like our little things, like the little appetizers and things like that. Um, I used to work for a bar, so I have a lot of bartender friends. I was going to have them work for me as the bartender. I know DJs because I work at a bar. I had everything to where this wasn't going to cost as much as like a $30,000 wedding. And I was very happy about that. I was extremely <laughs> ecstatic about that because then, you know, I even told people that when we were planning the wedding that I don't want any gifts because me and my husband have lived together for, you know, three years or more. And we, we have things, we've bought in things, we've bought in many things together. We have, you know, all kitchen appliances and everything, we have it all. So we told them, you know, if you want a gift, gift us something, put it towards our honeymoon. You know, pay 20 bucks for a meal out there or whatever, I mean, I, I don't care. So we had everything basically already set up. I had this place. I wanted my wedding to be fun. And when I mean fun, I mean like I wanted people to enjoy it more than I did. And I was excited for it. I am also the type of person like I don't celebrate my birthday that often. Uh, if I do, it's like dinner. I don't have a crazy party. I haven't had a birthday party since I was like three years old. I'm not big on that. For Christmas, you know, I'd rather buy like my niece and my nephews or my husband a gift than myself. I'm completely fine. I never splurge on myself. And if I do, I feel guilty about it because I'm so frugal with money. It's hard because like if I go and buy a thing of makeup, I feel bad. I'll like sit in the car and beat myself up, beat myself up over it because you know, I feel bad. It's like, oh God, I didn't have to spend that much money. Why did I spend that much money? It, it wasn't worth it. You know, things like that. I, I honestly thought that what I was doing was going to be perfect. Everyone was going to have fun. Everyone was going to enjoy their time. Every friend and family was going to be with us and everyone enjoy their time. Um, without spending a lot of money for my benefit. That way everyone's having fun and I don't have to lose sleep at the end of the night because we spent a lot of money that I did not want to spend. Now, let's go into the problems that happen. So, the problems that occurred was, like I said, me and my husband came to a very big agreement on how the wedding was going to be and we had everything down. It was just basically putting the money down for it. And like I said, I'm not going to say who said anything, um, but basically what happened was this person ripped 
my wedding apart. And it was like every, since we got engaged, every time we would talk about the wedding and oh, we planned this and oh, we found this venue and oh, we got this place and oh, we got this place. It was, well, that's cheap. Those don't look good together. This is a problem. Why don't you get married here? Why don't you do it this way? Why don't you make it look like this? Why don't you make it look like that? Why don't the flowers look like this? It was like everything. The food was a problem. The venue was a problem. Where we were getting married was a problem. The time of the year we were getting married was a problem. Who was invited was a problem. My bouquet was a problem. Every little thing about the wedding was a problem. And in a way, you know, that hurt my feelings because it was, well, I, it hurt both of our feelings. And it was because the wedding was a symbol of both of us. You know, it was a little bit of him and a little bit of me. And this was us together. You know, this was going to be us as one. And to have someone kind of rip your wedding apart, we were like, well, what? Why? You know, why? We, do, we get that it's not what you like, but this is what we like. And you had your wedding. We haven't had ours. Then this is ours. This is what we choose. Basically what had happened is, and I'm not the type to go out of my way to cuss someone out or get in someone's face or be mean to someone. I'm the type that because I... I'm a people pleaser and I like to make sure no one is mad at me. It's like, you know what, I'm just going to back off and I'm just going to leave it alone. So it was making me and my husband a fight because, you know, it was hurting my feelings, the things that were getting said. It was hurting his feelings to see, you know, his, his soon to be wife getting upset. But at the same time, he was in a very, like, really bad place because of all of it because you know when you're you're caught in the middle of these things and you have two people tugging at you it's kind of hard to put everything you know make a stop have a stop come so i was gonna call off the wedding and basically did call off the wedding because i was like you know what i don't i don't need to deal with this i don't need the stress i'm crying about my wedding more than i am happy about it you know, people put in their two cents, but they they don't offer to pay. They want us to go into debt. They want something that I don't want. You know, I don't want extravagant. I don't like that. That's not me. I'm not going to have a wedding that is not me. Why would I? You know, I want people to look at my wedding and be like, that is so Vanessa or that is so Jared. Like, that's, that's what that is. But if it wasn't me then I would feel like I was having my wedding for someone else and not myself. So I don't, I didn't want to look back on my, my wedding and be like, you know, I hated it because my mother did that with my father. My mom followed rules that everyone else wanted besides her own. And she looks at her wedding pictures now and she gets so angry because she's like, I didn't want that. I didn't want those dresses. I didn't want my dress. I followed, I did everything this person said. I did everyone, everything this person said. So... When I started feeling like I was losing control over my own wedding, I just like was like, I'm done. I'm done. I was fine before we got engaged and I'll be fine afterwards. And of course, you know, I the truth of it was is I wasn't, but it just wasn't worth the stress. I'm the type that I take myself out of stress, stress situations. So we had decided that the wedding was off and we both weren't happy about it. And then a little bug got in our ear. And that was, you know, and in a huge way, I do thank this person for getting in our ear because this person had known that we had called off the wedding and um, we listened. And because of that, we decided to elope. Now, like I said, no one was there. But because of this person, we actually did get married. And every time I see this person, this person seems super, super happy that we are married now and happy that we're together. And, you know, I, I owe the biggest thank you to this person because if it wasn't for this person, we wouldn't have gotten married. I know that I'm going very vague into a lot of things. This is a way deeper story. But out of respect for my husband 
and you know my family and everything else his family I'm not gonna say who any of these people are just in case anyone watches just in case family watch I just I'm putting it out there very very vague and I'm just saying like yes there are more details into this but it it was a lot of stress that started on this and you know that's just what it is I when we we woke up that day that we were getting married we were the happiest people and when we were standing up at the altar everything just went away everything all problems and I'm gonna start crying cuz I'm you know like emotional but you know all problems went away at that point it was just me and him and I would have never had it any other way my husband is an amazing man and all the stuff that we dealt with in that time tested a lot in our relationship and you know it's hard it's hard to be so excited about something and then be so sad about it at the same time but not because you're sad it's because other people are making you sad like I said, you know, we woke up that day, we drove to Santa Barbara, and we have been so happy. I love my husband to death. He has been the rock in our entire marriage. We are so happy. I love being married. You don't need a super fancy wedding. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You don't need to do any of that to be happy with someone. And that's where this all came down to also is that it wasn't worth the stress. It wasn't worth any of it. I mean, even though we weren't asking for much and it was, you know, it was more of someone else was a Zilla instead of me. Someone else was trying to take over my wedding instead of actually me. But, you know, I look at it now and I'm like, we're debt free because of our wedding. We, we don't have these problems, you know, we're not paying for our wedding afterwards. We're enjoying being married and I love it. If I have to give advice for anyone, you do what makes you happy. We've had to deal with a little bit of, you know, humps and stuff as we got back from getting married because a lot of people do want to see it and that's something to always take into consideration. But one thing I would say is do what is right for you guys. Do what is right for every, you know, and for you brides, hold your ground. Hold your ground on your wedding. I understand what I didn't do, and I understand that I'm probably not strong enough to hold my ground like that, but for everyone else, you know, try. Try as much as you can because it's your day. And that's honestly, like, I always thought, because I never thought that I would ever get married. I never wanted to. I always thought, that when people were like, you know, oh, it's my wedding, it's my wedding, it's my wedding. I always thought like, okay, this person is being super selfish. But it's crazy that when, you know, in my case, someone like me who has never really celebrated myself when it came time to actually celebrate me and my husband and, you know, us and something big, you know, this is a huge step. Besides getting married, having kids and like buying a house, this is a very huge step. And it was like... You know, that is my day. And it's crazy because it's like, to really think about it, yeah, it was. For people who are wedding goers, your bridesmaid, your groomsman, whatever you may be, try to be as respectful as you can towards the person that's getting married. Because they're already going through a lot. If they want your honest opinion, give it to them. If they don't ask for it, don't. I mean, honestly, don't. It just adds to the stress. It makes things worse. There's things behind closed doors that you probably don't see. It probably causes a fight. It probably causes more stress. It probably causes more money out of someone's pocket. Whatever it may be, just be that lending hand. Be that helpful friend. Don't ever try to take things over. It it's just bad. It gets bad blood out there and you know weddings are supposed to be to celebrate and to enjoy see a union. I mean that's that's basically all I gotta say about it. Um, 
questions for me, I do not regret eloping at all and I'm pretty sure every person who has ever eloped can say the exact same thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, like I said, we're happy. We're happy and we're not any different from any other married couple. We just, we just didn't have all of that. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're happy and that's all that matters to me. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I will be seeing you guys very, very soon in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.